Welcome to the Legendary Brown Note. Today we're doing something a little different. Uh, we're going to do some surgery on the NX3000D and we're going to attempt to do the fan mod. So let's open her up and uh, see what we got going on inside. So there's six screws on the top and uh, any Phillips head screwdriver should uh, do the trick here. All right, so once all the screws are out, the top cover should theoretically just uh, come off, so it slides off to the back. And let's put this aside somewhere. The next thing you wanna do is locate the fan shroud, which is this guy right here. And uh, underneath that, there's the fan, and the fan cable is right there. And as you can see right now, it is held on with some glue. So we're gonna attempt to take off that glue with some tweezers. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to use uh, a hairdryer. So for me, these tweezers that I got from uh, iFixit kit uh, seem to do the trick. It's kind of uh, picked at the glue until uh, it came loose. There's a lot of glue here. A pair of tweezers should work. If it doesn't, I've heard hairdryer to melt the glue works as well. The entire connector, the white piece down here, even though the fan is disconnected, needs to come off. Otherwise, there's no space for the new Noctua fan that we are going to install. So I'm going to dig around this glue a little bit more and see if I can get this piece to come off. All right, one more thing to note is uh, we're going from a two uh, pin fan cable to a three pin fan cable. Um, so let's take note of the colors. So the black is on top and the red is on bottom. And when we plug in our new fan, uh, we're going to make sure that the black is on top and the red is on the bottom. I found that plugging the fan back in actually uh, makes it easier to kind of pull the whole connector out once you loosen the glue. Uh, from this, this capacitor right here, um, it just kind of comes off. Down here, next to the capacitor, we see uh, two uh, pins sticking up, and that's where our new fan connector is going to go. All right, so the next step is we're going to remove the old fan, and that involves uh, screwing, unscrewing these guys back here. So the fan should now be able to come out the assembly. I was told that this would be uh, kind of tough to get out. So bear with me as I try to finagle this thing out of here. So you guys see pull towards the front of the amp uh, and then this top lid will kind of slowly uh, pop out and then you can kind of bring it up. So this is what the original fan uh, looks like with the fan hood. And you notice a sticker is on the uh, on this side facing up. So we're going to do the same thing uh, with the Noctua fan. We're going to make sure that it's facing the same way. And uh, the cable, I guess, is going the same way for ease of uh, plugging in later. The arrow uh, pointing this way should be going towards the front of the amp. Okay, so um, sticker side uh, like this uh, should be fine. Okay, apparently this is just held on by some adhesive, so let's go ahead and peel it off. And we're just going to do a quick switcheroo here. It's not the most professional of uh, installs, but uh, it works. So new foot fan hood is on, and we're going to attempt to uh, shimmy this thing back onto the... The amp. Okay, um, so three pin connector. You can see the uh, uh, colors here, um, black, red, and yellow. And we're only going to be using the black and the red. Um, and we'll carefully slide those two pins into our fan connector when we get it back into the amp. Let's see how long it takes me to actually get the sucker back in there. So I'm going to try to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to kind of angle it up 
towards me. All right, so after some finagling, I was able to get this guy uh, back in. And um, I decided not to use uh, these little guys just because it'd be kind of hard to reach uh, the bottom of these uh, fan mounts. So I'm just going to screw it back in with the uh, original screws that it came in. So here we go. All right, so the fan mount is back on and the fan hood is back on. Now all that's left to do is to plug it in. Black wire on top and red wire on the bottom. So we're just going to carefully slide these, uh, this, this fan header into the two pins. And you're going to leave the yellow one unplugged. So it's going to be hard to see, so I'm just going to go for it. All right, so the only way we're going to know this worked is we're going to turn it on and uh, see if it spins up. If the fan spins up, then we know we've done it correctly. So here's uh, crossing our fingers and seeing if we did it right. All right, success. So uh, it's working. Oh, too bad I didn't... Um, get a video of the original fan. Just trust me when I say it sounded like a leaf blower and now it's whisper quiet. Uh, if you have the time and you have a screwdriver and some tweezers, highly recommend that you do this mod for your amp if the fan is bothering you. I'll pop on the uh, cover and uh, screw it back in and then reconnect all my stuff so I can enjoy my boss platform again. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll put a link to the visual guide that I followed uh, for this project. Um, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.